some reason my lens looks extra clear today i don't know why um good morning everyone i hope you're doing well this is a new day and i am just about to head to orchard i'm going to astique aesthetic clinic um for a botox top up you guys know i've been pretty open about getting botox for a few years now i get it on my forehead and my crow's feet so i'm gonna go get that topped up potentially gonna redo the filler as well that i got last year i showed you guys last year i got um filler around my mouth because um a couple of years ago i lost a lot of weight and um, I lost a lot of weight in my face and it was really hard to kind of get that volume back so I had a little bit of filler to try and fill that back out again just so I look like my normal self because my face got a little bit gaunt and it was something that I really was self-conscious about just because obviously I'm editing myself all the time so um, yeah might get that topped up um, we'll find out but um, it's a bit of a miserable day today we've had such beautiful weather recently um but today and yesterday it's just a little bit miserable um but yeah let me show you my outfit please excuse all the mess in the background um i've been trying on clothes and i haven't made the bed um so this is my outfit completely forgot about this shirt and i just found it again in my wardrobe um i think i got this from shoppy years ago but it's like a shirt with face prints on it and then i've paired it with my princess polly skirt and I've gone for some cute loafers, some black ankle socks and my loafers which are from ASOS. I will link them down below for you guys if you're interested. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go get my face injected. <laughs> I have to say though, at Astique, they use actual numbing cream to numb your face and I absolutely love it because not all clinics do that. And so last time I went to Astique, I literally couldn't feel a thing, which is so nice because it can be quite painful. Um, so yeah, let's go. Shaw Center here today and I'm seeing Georgia for a regular Botox as well as a little bit of filler for her cheeks for a bit of facelift for her today. Last time you do this numb one up. Yeah, it works so well. I couldn't feel anything. Did you not do anything? No, I, I, it I worked really oh, well. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like no pain. Mm, yes. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, I look absolutely crazy. But the numbing cream is on and now I have to wait 30 minutes. And it's so cozy in here. I think I'm just gonna have a little nap. I'm just gonna check in and do a before. So this is before. My face is completely numb right now. So numb. I can't, I can't feel my mouth. <laughs> Everybody. It is now a couple of weeks later since I filmed that last clip at the clinic because basically Botox and filler kind of takes around two weeks to kind of settle in um, and take effect. So this is my face now and I am super happy as always with um, the results. As you could have probably seen before, there was some um, frown lines that were just kind of um, really visible in my natural like resting face. Um, which have now gone, which I love. I also love the Botox glow, I'm not gonna lie. I think they did a really great job on the fillers around my face as well. It's definitely smoothed out those lines that I was concerned about. If any of you are looking to get um, aesthetic treatments, I highly recommend Astique, they've been amazing. And I love the results, so that's good. Okay, so today I, I wanna go take a wander around Boogis, um, and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. There's actually a little, it's like a little photography museum i think and i've passed it a few times and i was like why have i never been in there so i think i'm gonna head there just for a little lone date take myself on a little date 
um, and we can get a coffee and do a little bit of exploring for an hour or two. It's such a hot day today, so I'm not gonna last long in the sun. Uh, before that, I've got some homeware bits that I really wanna share with you guys. I've been doing some homeware shopping um, and yeah, I, I always get so excited by home decor, I'm not gonna lie. I've pretty much furnished this whole apartment with home decor from easy buy i did an easy buy haul a few months ago um, where i bought most of the stuff and so i've basically gone back on easy buy and ordered some more homeware stuff because i'm a sucker for it so yeah here's a few of the items i'm going to sit down with you guys and uh, let's do a little homeware haul also got my nails done the other day which i love i'm calling it avocado green but i don't think it is avocado green and it's not is it lime green Maybe it's lime green. I don't know, but I'm loving it. I think it's really summery. This is my new phone case from Princess Polly. It's a snake thing. I'll also um, link that down below. So if you guys didn't know, Easy Buy actually have this thing called Easy Home, where they curate tons of like home and living things, home decor, um, really affordable furniture. Their furniture is... They also have uh, free shipping for certain items, which is great. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys what I picked up. First of all is this vase, which I am completely in love with. I've seen these all over Instagram. It's just a glass vase with this really, really lovely gold rim. This came in a... Oh my God, I nearly knocked myself out. <laughs> this comes in a, uh, a few different sizes. I honestly didn't realize that this was gonna be this huge, but I think this is the perfect size to um, put lilies in. I love buying lilies from cold storage. So this is gonna be my lily vase. Um, and yeah, I think it's beautiful. I love that. Oh, let me tell you how much that was. Okay, so this vase was $17.60. And then I bought another vase by, I mean, I honestly thought this was gonna be smaller. So I thought that I could put it on a shelf, but I think it may be a bit too big for that. But another flower vase, you can never have enough flower vases. It kind of matches my nails. I love the color of this so much. This is like my favorite green at the moment. Um, and I thought this would look beautiful with um, like tulips in, some really colorful tulips, um, a really nice like summery vase. Uh, this, this ceramic vase was $10 and um, they've got a bunch of, like the seller has a bunch of different shapes and colors in these vases, which I love so, so much. So I was suckered in by that. Also suckered in by this trend of the like bobble, candle i've seen these everywhere this one smells so good as well if you guys are looking for these candles they're on easy easy buy as well i think this was like eight dollars something else is this beautiful board um i've seen these everywhere as well i think these are perfect for displaying like imagine putting this in your bedroom um and having like all your perfumes on here or skincare products but i also think it's great for serving like you could do a cheese board like a spread on here there's so many different things you could use it for so this board was only 16 dollars, and honestly i feel like if you bought that somewhere else you'd end up paying like 40 dollars or something for it so also got suckered in by some kitchenware i have the matching bowl for this but i ended up getting this teacup which i am obsessed with look how big it is the perfect size for like a proper big cup of tea um so I absolutely love that. And then I got the matching plates. I did think that these were gonna be dinner plates, but I accidentally picked up the wrong size and got smaller plates, which I don't, I don't mind. Um, so I'll just like use these for lunches and stuff. So yeah, I think these are so, so pretty. Okay, I got a basket. Like if you ever wanna organize things or tidy up your place, just buy baskets because <laughs> baskets just make everything look so much cleaner and more organized. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, this is a slightly different color than what I expected. I thought it was gonna be more of a cream. I got this little laundry hamper, which I love so much. I've just been using like an Ikea basket for like dirty laundry, but now I actually have like a proper um, laundry hamper, which I love. I think this one is so, so nice. This is the large rattan laundry basket. And this one was $34, so a little bit more pricey, but it's like the perfect size. I really, really like it. So you can buy all of these items with just $2.99 shipping. If you guys have Easy Buy Prime, um, I really recommend getting Prime because your items come quicker um, and you pay cheaper delivery as well. So I will link everything down below for you guys, as always. I'm going to start getting ready and then we can head on out into the 
blaring sunshine in Singapore. Woohoo! I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. Dweller, which is me. Um, I'm currently just walking around all the back alleys in the Kampong Glam area. If you guys haven't heard me talk about Kampong Glam before, it's basically like the artsy neighbourhood of Singapore. A lot of uh, Malay and Muslim influences around here. Lots of amazing food and a really big art scene. Lots of independent artists as well, which is amazing. Um, and the back alleys are just beautiful. So currently just trying to hunt out the uh, photography museum and i think i'm gonna go to this little coffee shop called mother doe they do amazing they do great coffee they're really well known for their bakes so i might get a cookie and i also might sit inside because last time i was there it was shut and uh, we couldn't go upstairs so this time i might go and take a seat and enjoy a coffee so let's keep wandering around the highlight of this neighbourhood is the uh, Sultan Mosque. It's just absolutely beautiful and on a day like this, it's just so pretty. Here is the photography museum, literally in the shape of a camera. <laughs> and I don't know how I've only recently um, just stumbled across it. Um, it's a really, really cool building. Let's go inside. happens in these vlogs the um, photography museum cost $20 a ticket and I just I'm just not really in the mood to spend $20 today but it did look like a cool little space it's basically like a guided tour so if you're heavily into photography um, it could be worth doing but yeah it cost $20 so I'm not gonna do it today I might go with a friend another time and then I just went to try and go to Mother Doe Bakery and it's shut because I think they sell out really fast. So I guess they've just closed for the day. So it's going well. Um, we'll just continue wandering around. I am really hungry though. So it'd be good to get maybe coffee and a snack somewhere. popular and so busy and um, I spent nine dollars on an ice latte which is probably criminal but <laughs> it is what it is I have to say I, it is like really really delicious coffee so I do think it's worth it but maybe only once in a while there's also some really gorgeous little independent shops down here um, I've forgotten the name of it but I'm gonna go into one of them one of them sells some really nice like um, home pieces somewhere over here so I'll probably take a wander in there in a moment it's such a beautiful day so so nice uh, this is the shop it's called super mama and they have like lots of localized oh my gosh we've had the jets flying around this week <laughs> not sure why maybe it's for national parade day coming soon anyway this is the shop super mama and they have lots of uh, localized like giftware and souvenirs. Oh, I don't know if it's open actually, it looks closed. Man, everywhere I wanna go today is closed. Maybe because it's a Monday. You can see inside, it's pretty cool. Well, this is kind of under construction right now, especially this area. And basically because they've boarded up this spot a load of uh, local artists came out and um, painted 
the work site which I think looks amazing it's definitely added a bit of flair I mean you know Kampong Glam is already pretty great for its murals and graffiti but um, they've really made this into something special I think it looks great so yeah not so much of an eyesore anymore <laughs> I really don't know what they're building here I don't think it's an MRT because there's an MRT here already so if anyone knows what they're making please let me know but I just think it looks super cool vlog here I don't feel like I've ended a vlog properly in ages so I'm sorry about that but um I'm also gonna have to get a new camera because I use the G7X Mark II and the focus on these cameras I just feel like in general these cameras last like two years tops and then everything starts to break the focus starts going wrong they start falling apart so I have to keep tapping the focus which is really irritating Anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up here guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please do thumbs it up as always. It really does help me out. And if you want to go find me on Instagram, you can find me at The Vintage Vision. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.